Hey guys, Dion Von Moltke here. You're on board with me in the M1 GT Racing Audi R8 LMS from the Sprint X Race at Laguna Seca. I'm going to talk a little bit about working through traffic. And we're going to jump right into the topic. Two GTS cars right in front of me. See, so yeah, I've now slowed down a little bit, get a good launch out of turn five here at Laguna Seca. I want to try to get by both of these guys here. I'm staying there, make a deep, decisive move, really trying to communicate with those cars what I want to do here. And that's really the key of working through traffic is being A, decisive, and B, trying to be able to communicate with one another. In my racing career, most of it being an IMSA, a GTD, I've been used to driving the slower and the slowest cars really on track. So I'm used to cars overtaking me. With this time around, now I'm doing the overtaking. So I kind of know what those guys want to see and uh, try to communicate in the same way that I look for, which is really clear communication out early, showing your attention and then being decisive in that break zone. Really nothing worse than someone that kind of looks but then doesn't look and then you try to let him by but he doesn't want to go by and you guys both lose a ton of time. So deep on the brakes into turn two, see I'm starting to catch the next few cars in front of me. I often hear you know, broadcasters or reporters talking about how we think 10 corners in advance when it comes to traffic. It's really honestly impossible to do that because in sports cars, A, you've got two different drivers in each car, so you don't know who's driving the car, especially in practice, and you just don't see them enough to really know exactly where you're going to catch them. So in turn five again, I'm definitely going to catch this car in front of me, and there's two more cars battling in front of him. So I'm going to get a good exit, make sure I get by him in six. I'm too far behind the next two cars battling, but I would love to get him going up in the corkscrew. Now, in the back of my mind, I see one is overtaking the other. That means they probably aren't looking behind them for the moves coming, so I make a little bit of an aggressive move to make sure he sees me. But now I'm a little bit conservative. He's just overtaking that car. He probably doesn't know I'm right behind him. So I've got to be a little bit more conservative, try to get on between 9 and 10, which is actually a really difficult place to get by here in Laguna Seca because it's fast, you're busy as a race car driver, and there's not much time to look in your mirrors there. So it took a little bit of a trust that the driver driving that car was competent, good, and then also realized I was there. Uh, now in practice, really got to be able to get a read on the balance of the car, which is very difficult to do when you're working traffic because you never get a clean feel a few corners in a row so when you get a clean lap like I'm on right now you've got to take advantage of it to be able to tell that engineer okay this is exactly what the car is doing so deep on the brakes turn three very low grip through here so it's easy to overcharge you see I missed the apex a little bit there I need to brake maybe a little earlier turn in a little earlier turn four one of the most important corners on this track try to get a good run out of it going down to turn five Really, you can go deep on the brakes, early turning because you're going up the hill. Early to throttle, use all the road on exit, maybe a little bit extra to turn six. It's going to be the most difficult corner on this racetrack. It's blind, it's fast, fourth gear. You've got to commit early to get up this hill. And of course, we have that big hot dog red curve on the inside where if you touch that, you break the suspension pieces. So you've got to be inch perfect. Up into the famous corkscrew, eight story drop, completely blind until here. You kind of just have to get a feeling for where the car's going to end up. Turn 9, the fastest corner on the racetrack, really sliding all the time through there. Turn 10, down one gear, early turn in. Make sure you get to that curve. I missed it a little bit. It probably cost me a tenth and a half on exit. Down to turn 11, also pretty difficult because you've just been going really fast. Now to a slow corner, it's easy to outbreak yourself. That time I felt, felt pretty good through it. Back onto the front straightaway here. Trying to figure out, okay, is this going to be another clean lap? I'm probably communicating with the engineer on what the car is doing. Deep brake zone. Even with ABS and the GT3 car, you're on the limit of the brake zone. So, really, the car is sliding through there. Exit of turn two. Now, let's see if turn three is any better this lap. I missed the apex last lap. A little bit better. Still, I'd like to be maybe a half foot closer to that apex curve. Turn four once again, making sure I get a good exit onto this straightaway. There we go. So I've actually got a pretty good run now in the last lap and a half of the clean lap. This is really telling me a lot about the balance of the car, which is the most important part of practice is getting this thing ready to go racing. Back up to turn six. Take a nice little breather. Break it in. Light brake, full throttle. Use all the road on exit. You've got to get a good run up here in the corkscrew. Our Audi tends to struggle a bit straight line. So 
we've got to do everything we can to get a good run through turn six to defend position. It's going to be difficult for us to really overtake anybody going into the full shoot. Back through turn nine, probably the strongest section here for the Audi. Sliding, use all the road, bringing it back up to fourth, back down to third, turning it in. Still missing that apex, so I probably want a little bit more dynamic of a front end. Turning in high speed is probably what I'm communicating with my engineer. A little understeer through the middle of turn 11 as well. So having a better front end is looking like what I need to improve here uh, for the next session. So this will be the last lap. I'm going to sign off. You see me catching some more cars here. I want you to kind of guess where I'm going to catch them and uh, see if you can call it the right way. Thanks for watching, guys. It's Dion Von Moltke. You can check me out at www.dionvm.com. Again, if you guys can click the little subscribe button in the bottom right, I'd love that. That really helps. Every subscriber means a lot to me. So thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed it.